welcome back to the Graceful Tangle YouTube channel. I'm Amy Kate, a young but passionate knitter and crocheter. You can find all of the links to my various social media platforms in the description box below, so be sure to check those out and follow me on all of those places. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you took a moment to subscribe to my channel and then don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can know each and every time I upload a video. I am so excited to be back with you guys today talking about a brand new pattern release, and that is the Genesis Cowl. So way, way back at the very beginning of January, the first pattern that I ever released was the Genesis Messy Bun Beanie. And it's aptly named simply for Genesis, the beginning. And so I was kind of, um, you know, thinking that it was the beginning of what could be something something beautiful really you know my it was the start of me releasing a goal every single week for the for the for the month for the year of 2020 so this again is the genesis messy bun beanie i absolutely love this beanie i love this texture and ever since i first designed this little messy bun beanie i wanted to kind of make the genesis pattern into a full collection so i'm going that collection one by one and it's not you know super consistent you're gonna see some more patterns come out in this collection um eventually my hope is to be able to compile them all into one one place such as an ebook um but we'll just have to see where that journey takes us in the meantime my plan is to release um release a pattern in the collection you know as and when it is ready so this is the second pattern in the collection, and it is the cowl version. So this is the worsted weight cowl. This is the worsted weight beanie, so you can find this in my Ravelry shop, and I will link that in, in the description box below so that you can check it out if you want to. Um, but this is the cowl version. So just like the beanie, it is made from the bottom up in the round. Let me, yes, this is the right side up, right way up however you're supposed to say that, um, and it has the same texture pattern as the beanie, um, which I just love. It's such a beginner-friendly pattern, but because of the rib, it is super simple, but also enjoyable, so it's not something that you'll, you know, lose, um, lose interest on because it's not just stuck in it, and it's also not just ribbing. You kind of get to change it up, which I really, really love. So again, this is worsted weight. Um, I have a gauge listed and a size, the size needle that I use to achieve that gauge in the pattern, but the gauge doesn't really matter for a pattern like this, so you can really change it up um, or just pick a size needle that you like using for your given yarn. It doesn't matter that much. Um, if you would like the same dimensions as this cowl, I would suggest checking gauge, but other than that, I would just go for it. Choose a worsted weight yarn size 8 or 9 needles and go for it. That would be my advice there. One thing that I did include in this pattern that I really, really love and I want to talk a little bit more about is how to use an entire skein of yarn for this cowl. So I personally do not have anything against having a little bit of yarn left over from a project because that means that I didn't play Leo Chicken, which is always a good thing. Um, and that means that I have that little bit of yarn that I can either put into a different project or use in my scrappy blanket. So, with that being said, scraps are great, but sometimes you have that skin of yarn that you just want to use every single bit of. Or maybe you are giving it as a gift and you just want to make it as big as possible. Or whatever the case may be, learning how to use an entire skin of yarn in one project is, um, is a really good thing to know. So, the advice that I gave in the pattern and that I want to elaborate on a little bit is how to do that. And that is to knit the, um, let me backtrack. What I would do is measure or weigh your ball of yarn. So, say that I was going to get a brand new ball of yarn for this cowl and that ball was 100 grams. So, I'm going to weigh that skein of yarn and it should be 100 grams or right around that. And then I'm going to knit the ribbing, and that is um, following the pattern, which you will see once you download it. But that is um, knitting the ribbing and then weighing that skein of yarn again. So say that I use 15 grams for the ribbing. This is just an example. 
Let's say that I use 15 grams. That means that I would have 100 grams minus 15 grams, which is 85. I would have 85 grams left of the yarn to use for my cowl. Now I know since I used 15 grams for the first part of the ribbing, I'm going to need 15 grams for the second part of the ribbing. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract 85 minus 15, which would give me 70. <laughs> 70. So that means that I can use 70 grams for the body of the cowl. In reality, I would suggest taking a gram off of that. So I'm only using, say, 69 grams, just because you want to avoid your chicken at all costs, for sure, because that's not a very fun game to play. <laughs> um, so that's kind of my advice there if you want to use a full skein of yarn. Um, I hope that made sense. Just let me know in the comments below if you would like me to elaborate on that further or if you have any questions I am more than happy to answer them um and again I have written it out row by row in the pattern so you do not have to do any of that math if that's not something that you um would like to you know partake in um it's completely up to you so yeah absolutely love this cowl I'm so excited to be growing this collection slowly but surely um and I really hope that you love it so if you use the code GENESIS at checkout, all lowercase, you can download this pattern for free for a very limited time only, so be sure to go and do that. I will include links in the description box below on all of the places where you can find this pattern, which is Etsy and Ravelry. So, those will be linked below. Be sure to check them out. Thank you so very much for watching. If you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe, and I will see you all again next time. Bye!